See, you cannot blame people doing Yahoo because they, they were presented with that was the only option they had. See, I go finish my money bet now. Something like bet Niger, sporty bet. That one I don't want betting. <laughs> but this one now, you, you they scam other people till they get their money. You lie. That one, that, that you, betting. You lie. Yes, you lie. <laughs> but there are some people that are into cyber that, that are into cyber crime. And there are some other people that are into betting that does not want to leave betting and start doing cyber crime. <laughs> Welcome to another interesting episode of the Spark Echo Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about something really interesting. Last week's topic was really controversial. But anyways, that's for last week. If you're new on this channel, please do well to subscribe. Click the notification button so you get notified anytime we post our videos. Let's go right into the introduction. And I'll be starting with my immediate left, with our very own unique and okay. wonderful person <laughs> you so for much. my Moses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here it's today. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. It. It's good thank to you. have you. Thanks for the honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'll be talking about the person sitting right next to him. This person, she's intelligent, she's beautiful, yeah. she's purposeful, she's <laughs> so God. calm. There's a way she conveys her messages wow. in a very gentle and calm way. Our very own and amazing woman, wow. divine it's good. It's good to have both of you on the show today. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about something that would open our eyes. Will open the eyes of the Gen Zs. And the topic is: Is Yahoo the only option? <laughs> because I was having a conversation with somebody and the girl said she wants to start her work. Then I was trying to advise her like a good person. Then somebody from nowhere just come say, no, all way in a way. That anything a girl wants to do, let her just do it all. And she was like, she wants to learn how to do Yahoo. So like in the society we live in today, any guy you see, any young person you see now, ask them what they are doing is what? Yeah. Wow. So is that the only option? Is that the only thing that can fetch us money in this country, in this world, in this society? That was something going well. I don't think I can. Who will go first? <laughs> she will go first. Now. I think she went the last. She went first uh, the last she time. She should now. also go first now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go. Okay. So um. Yahoo! That's cyber crime, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so um, those of my English people. <laughs> so, um, I feel like young people in this generation have misplaced priorities. Mm. Mm. My God. Yes. Mm. Fire. <laughs> and I feel like if they have a knowledge of what they should do instead, it will motivate them. You get. You know, it's different from you to have a knowledge. Okay, and it's different for you to have a motivation and understanding too. You know, you know, to to walk that path where you have knowledge in. I feel like people do not have enough like push, enough push, and but well, something is pushing them to do Yahoo now. Yes, do 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 you know that negativity, you know, drives faster than positivity? Yeah, true. In the sense that one could look at the idea you have, like your dream. And they could just easily talk it down because they feel like that part will take a long time to be accomplished. But I feel like if there is a shortcut, okay, you don't want to go through process. Yes, you know that's that's the difficulty that a lot of a lot of young people they face. They don't want to go through that process, and I feel like they don't have that thing that you know that will consistently push them to the point that okay, let me see you that you are doing well in this thing. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, or I think Mr. Moses, the question should be why do they have misplaced priorities? Don't you think? Uh, for me, if you ask me that question, that, that, that question will be good, but I will, I will try to choose more answer. You understand? Because actually, now this thing has gone beyond you know just having knowledge. Yes, okay. there are some people actually fat because I don't understand the knowledge. You know, there are many categories of knowledge. I don't know the one we say you they talk. In fact, even the one we say you they talk right now. There are some that, that are well educated. Is that the knowledge we are talking about? 
<laughs> no, uh, not that one. No, okay, not that one. No, actually, now because in the society that we are now, actually, there are some that are well educated, yeah. but they don't have. I I think most of their words and what they are saying is that they don't have the opportunity of using their knowledge to work. So the only thing to that can right supplement thing. everything is just going into this Yahoo Yahoo work. So I know I know to understand. I think I push more things so that my two go free. See, you, you see, we, I was we, I was talking with somebody mm -hmm. and my twin brother. We we're talking to this person, and it was like, see, you cannot blame people doing yawu because they they were presented with that was the only option they had. They had they didn't have the opportunity, especially people living in trenches and in places where in places that are not developed. Do you think it's because poverty, or do you think it's poverty that is moving them to do this kind of thing that is making them steal from people? It cannot be poverty because there are some people who are very, very poor that, that and they are still making out something good from from where they are, from where they are. Okay, so I feel like um, like I said, I still uh, like stand on the point that is because they do not have enough push, you know, to to do what they are meant to be doing. A lot of people know what they should be doing, but if there is a motivation, you know, a voice that they constantly hear, okay. You look at okay. Just let, let's take a look at people that are groomed that their parents pray for. You know, for them to go to church. You know, start from the from their young age to inculcate that right knowledge in them. Look at what they turn out to be. Majority of them turn out to be good individuals that represent well in the yes. society. So I feel like you know that word that they say charity begins from home. It actually begins from home. When you take what? responsibility, you know, you know it's responsibility. Well, yes. some people still deviate, even when they have been trained well. Even when you see. pray, they still deviate okay. from, from, yeah, from see, the past. See, I don't see what you know, the time try to find solutions. See, <laughs> the, the answer is not nah, that it's not that nah, difficult. Nah, nah, nah. You know, there is a scripture for every challenge that yeah, we go through. True. So I think we should at least look into what the scripture says okay. about. Um, but, but before we look into the scripture, make us talk this thing about you okay. know one of the things like according to what you have said or according to your, according to what you just said actually that concerning that there are some that because I've seen it actually it is because of you know contentment. Yeah. That is the one of the major lack of contentment. Lack of contentment. That is one yeah. of the major priority. Why? So and their mindset people, too. In fact, so, some of them are not actually poor. Yeah. But because Thank you. The That's what I was about more. saying. That. Yeah. Most of them are not. If you if you if you look at them, most of them are not even going through half of what people that are making out something good mm. with their lives are going through. But yet they use that as an excuse that it's poverty. And sometimes it's, it's mm. mind their mindset. Their they are greedy. They are not content with them. Can I ask that question first? What is the cyber crime? What you, do you define as the cyber crime? You steal from people now. You steal from people. Yes. Taking money from people illegally. Okay. So um do you can you like is there a similarity between betting and cyber crime? Because <laughs> there are some people that are into cyber that, that are into cyber crime. And there are some other people that are into betting that does not want to leave betting and start doing cyber crime. <laughs> Uh, actually, you understand what I'm saying, and like it's for the same reason. It's for the same purpose, to right? Get money, you know, to get money. <laughs> no, actually, please, can I say something? Oh, you can't. No, you see, can't no, see, if you not defend this man, people will go use a ten mark war. You understand? At the time, the truth will go and say betting, betting, normal, normal, betting be like genuine thing. Yes, now betting be like genuine. No, now I mean. <laughs> you know, you try to get me. I go finish my money to bet now. Something like bet Niger, spotty bet. That one, I don't want betting. But this one now, you, you they scam other people till they get their money. You that lie. one, that, that you, betting. You lie. Yes, you lied. But that betting, so, lie not there. Now you they play the game. I beg, I just, if you know, you watch your slide. Okay, we should call it investment. Investment, <laughs> you know the English. Now investment. <laughs> Why they scam me? That one has scamming. <laughs> no, that, so, no, it's no, not, yes, it's still true now. <laughs> it's still. <laughs> But the best is the not still in a game play. I mean, let me play too. I mean, ah, let me play. Let me play. No, about that. No, no, okay, okay, please, 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 continue. Is it, is it continue. You play the game. You play the game. game. It is called betting. You know, you know the English betting, bro. I betting now. 
<laughs> Please continue now. <laughs> but all these things are actually bad habits. It is, yes, you know, exactly. You know, the effort you should put in doing something productive <laughs> that would later, you know, lead to long term. Like a yes, long, a true. long term thing. That thing will never you, last. You not put all the effort in putting it into something that is temporary. Uh, yeah. Okay, look at someone that is into um, internet fraud, like internet fraud. Uh, you know, duping clients, collect their money <laughs> because that's what they call them clients. <laughs> if you like, you have a client. What if you wake up one morning and all the clients you have have died? What's like what's the you end goal? What's the end for you? you for because that you live what you're supposed to be doing. Eh? Like God has given you a vision, sure, and you come exactly. to this like you say your own vision is to be defrauding other people of their money. Any money. And you, you, know, you know, you know, the knowledge that you're supposed to invest <laughs> in the in the actual purpose that God has created you yeah. for. You are investing it on stealing people's money. Yeah. Um, um, have you sat down to ask your, yourself question now? What is the end for me? Or mm. what if I'm the one? What if you are the one you worked hard for how many years? years and the somebody came to steal the money from you? How will you feel? But yeah, they don't think like this. They just feel that. You know, that they thing made that you make me, you know, made me remember the princ- a principle of life that I feel like, okay, if any individual wants to make it in life, like this is the mindset they should have about life. Yeah. That's, if this thing, someone does it to me and I won't be happy, don't do it to someone else. Yes. You know, the Bible says, do to others. What's what? Yes. Do to yourself. You know, do you understand? Yes. It? So, if you know that this thing that you're doing, you know, if they do it to you, it won't favor you. Yeah. And you end up feeling frustrated. How will you make your fellow human being feel <laughs> frustrated? And in the first place, how are you even fulfilling the scripture? The says of the person will come you know, to you. Love your neighbor <laughs> as you love yourself. You're supposed to be looking for the good yeah. of your fellow neighbor. Like you see someone that wants to tip, like tip their money or steal their money or look for a corny way to steal their money. You you know you call your attention to it, fight it with your blood and your sweat, and you know you are now the one that is doing that. Ask yourself that what is the end for me? Yes. Have you sat down to ask yourself that question? Very true. You see, we're, we're meant to find solutions to people's problem, not create problem for them. So let's just quickly look at the scripture. And you know, the society that we find ourselves, we complain about a lot of problems. Why we should be the solutions yes. to problems. So yeah. that's a big deal. So let's just quickly look at um, one scripture from you, one scripture from you, then I'll read one scripture as well. Uh, okay. Hey, <laughs> now that same scripture I will read. Yes. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 20. If you get that for there, open up. It says, A faithful man shall abound with blessing. Yes. But he that maketh is to get rich shall not be innocent. So now the same content. <laughs> this is very <laughs> no, see, you know, okay, the there are some things that you actually need to be yeah, violent about. about. It means you to be violent, yeah. you know, to air your opinion that this is the truth yes. and this is what others should know. See, yes. this the solution, truth stands. More, see, most of the solution to the problem of the world today make people just a little bit decontented, contented. I mean, yeah. I mean like, I have, see, yes, I mean, you know, I do you know what, what came to my mind now? I feel like I have the opportunity to stand up. You know, and give you body gestures to tell you that yes. these things are not right. Yes, exactly. And as much as you try to sugarcoat it, God yes. says they are not right. Yes. Even if you try to defend them, it is still wrong. No, right. still wrong. You know, I know you will come from a defensive point, yes, uh, especially if you are that person that is doing it. You're not the only one poor now. See, what about people that have made it legally? Mm. What is the difference? Of your life between them, do they have two heads? Uh, maybe. <laughs> they, no, 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 no. And trust me, the time that you actually spend wasting away, because you are wasting away. Oh, yes, mm. true. You know, yes. some people have already and they don't know this. Like some people have already mm. used it to achieve a lot, mm. and yeah. I even grooming others in that part yeah. to make sure that they are mm. useful individuals. And you are there complaining about problem, giving excuses why you should not be useful to your generation. And are doing oh my God. <laughs> You are, stealing, you are stealing people's money. <laughs> I you oh Jesus! I <laughs> pray that you receive light, oh, because all you see now we are saying is for a cause. Yes, you know. Yeah. We, see, as you are, wherever you are, if you are in this act, I feel like, see, I'm telling you today, categorically, 
please use your initiative use the wisdom that god has given to yeah. you to to be a change in your generation yes. don't complain about problem look into the problem that you are facing try to create solutions strategies yes, to talk you know <laughs> to make you know money to, to be a, like to be to produce there are, there are things you can do there are things you can do apart from to there are different things you Many can do legacies. okay i i feel like i have a scripture to back what okay. i'm saying up okay philippian 2 verse yeah 3 it says don't be selfish yeah don't try to impress selfish people. others See, the reason why a lot of youth, a lot of young people... Want to buy fine clothes. You know, cars. they see their friends doing this thing. Have you, I, I, have you been called to live the same life? See, the journey of your life eh, yeah. is different from the journey of another person's life. Yeah, true. You can embark on something and it, it will not have an end. It, what if you embark on it and there is no end? <laughs> No. You remain there. You keep going. I said that is great already. Do you get it? Yes. Do you yeah. get it? So, yeah. be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Mm. You know, some people want to, you know, you know, bring up that narrative that ah, I can be better than this guy. Is it not your way is doing? In two years, so don't be in competition with bad behavior. Mm. Okay. So now we have come to the end of this particular episode. And I know you all enjoy it. I don't need it. Just drop your comments. Leave comments in that comment section. <laughs> and you, <laughs> oh, you will see different things. So just leave your comment there and your own opinion concerning this topic. So I'll be handing it over to you, Informer Moses, for the altar call. Yeah, I'm not saying as with the talker. So many guys don't yeah. even want to make up their mind before to go into Yahoo. <laughs> Why some never go? Good. Some they already go. They say don't they won't give their life to God. And and you they you know you they wash us life. You, you don't say as we talk, the only goes they touch you. Yeah. Just pray this prayer after me. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Clean my name from the book of death. Clean my name from the book of death. And write my name in the book of life. I believe you died for me, Jesus. I believe you died for me. And on the third day you rose up again. And on the third day you rose again. Help me to walk in the 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 walk Walk in the uh, cleanness of the Holy Ghost. Help me to walk, walk in the cleanness of the Holy Ghost. And help me to ma maintain my relationship with you. And help me to maintain my relationship. I accept you now, Jesus. I accept you now, as my Jesus, personal Lord and Savior. Thank, thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Lord. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> thank you. Subscribe <laughs> to IPN TV. <laughs> like our videos. Yeah. Share our videos. And God bless you. Amen. Bye.